Mateusz, congratulations, you just beat uh, Vasiv de Ravaili. The game went on for quite a long time, it was a crazy material imbalance. Tell us a bit about what happened. Actually, uh, it should be mentioned that uh, I played Vasif only once uh, in the past. It was in um, Fide Grand Suisse uh, in the last round. I was black and the game was very similar to what happened today. He blundered something in the opening. I considered myself winning very early. And yet, uh, in uh, Riga, two years uh, ago, I managed not to win I f something what I consider to be completely winning position. And today it was like uh, something uh, happening for the second time, because after a huge blunder in the opening my pos of, of, of him, my position was like, couldn't be any better. And I was doing everything not to win, like uh, really, uh, I was disappointed with almost any decision uh, I made, but somehow, somewhere I managed to win this game, I believe for the second time, because at some point I think I was surely not better, but luckily after six and a half hours I can say I won a game. Do you feel that the, the memory of what happened the last time you met maybe uh, sort of haunted you and was in part responsible for not finishing the game off earlier? Yeah, surely. Uh, also, like I noticed that uh, actually in the ninth round two years ago was my only victory, but only 143 moves and seven and a half hours. So if you like add this to the fact that I played something strange with Vasif, maybe I should have expected some long and uh, hopeless game. But uh, I mean, like in the end, I am very happy that I won because he was unbeaten throughout the tournament. So I think it's quite an achievement to beat someone who managed to draw many strong players. And you now have uh, five points plus one. How do you reflect on your tournament and your play so far? Well, in general, I came here to enjoy uh, because, uh, well, at this, um, let's say, a stage of my so-called career, I am like uh, sure, pretty sure I won't be a world champion or anywhere close. Uh, and. Uh, but somehow I still have this uh, curiosity um, and uh, love to the game. So whenever I have the opportunity um, to play in a strong tournament and I have uh, accept from my wife, uh, I can go. Uh, some other professionals at my age uh, like try to calculate if it's uh, economically okay to go. Uh, and luckily I have my wife who says, okay, you are still not that old. Uh, maybe you won't win anything, but uh, you can try to play and enjoy and uh, that's what I do. I, I came here to enjoy. As, it, as in chess, usually you can be enjoying until the, the, the game you lose and I lost badly with Richard Traport uh, two, two days ago. Uh, it was probably a very tense game because after that Richard lost two games, so uh, maybe it was a cursed game for him. But anyway, like I am very happy to be here and uh, like plus one is a decent score for me. You mentioned you probably won't be world champion, uh, but you could still become Poland's number one YouTuber. Uh, you are <laughs> quite active on YouTube. Also here during the tournament, you've been doing daily uh, recaps. First of all, how do you reconcile? How do you find the energy? And tell us a little bit just about your YouTube adventures. Uh, well, I am. I used to be working for Chess24 Poland when it still existed. Uh, and since then I uh, kind of um, became half professional, but uh, as uh, Chess24 disappeared, uh, I uh, still have some time, well, once again to play more chess. Uh, but it didn't, uh, but my activity on the uh, internet is still there. Uh, I was uh, allowed by Chesscom to rename my channel into my private one. And uh, well, I am doing uh, some stuff from time to time. Uh, and uh, actually since June I decided I will comment every um, uh, classical game I played. Uh, I am commenting it immediately after the game if I have time and I am doing it without engine. So basically uh, I am saying what I have seen during the game. It's of course full, full, full of uh, mistakes but somehow Polish viewers, because it's only fully in Polish, they they are, uh, admire this way of um, commenting because uh, everyone can show computer lines, and you are usually heavily affected when you check the game with 
with engines. So I think it's a nice idea. It actually doesn't take so much energy. I just come and say uh, these uh, random things which are in my head and that's it. I think it's a great idea. Do you feel it has uh, helped your chess in any way? I am not exactly sure, but uh, actually since uh, the June I lost only two games, so that's not that bad. And I even had one of the best uh, events in my career in uh, Polish Extra League uh, in September. Uh, so if it doesn't harm, uh, maybe it's... Uh, I, I, I wouldn't say it is giving some benefits, but uh, if I am enjoying, if uh, viewers are, are enjoying, I see no problem in, in spending half an hour of my life every day to, 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 to prepare some material. And just before the interview you told me you played in the Isle of Man once before, but not in Douglas, you played in Port Erin in 2007. So your first time in the capital in Douglas, how do you like it here? Well, it's different to, to Port Erin. Port Erin was smaller, uh, well, as far as I remember, because it was uh, quite some time ago. Uh, but uh, I, in general, I feel very well uh, on the Isles. Uh, like uh, we talked before, that we that I was in Cork, and uh, I was uh, in in um, uh, here. Uh, I mean, uh, in, in Isle of Man, and I always played somehow good uh, in in this area, in this region. So um, I am happy to be here and. Uh, uh, I think it's actually quite a nice uh, f uh, location for, for um, to host the, the chess tournament. Although, well, there are some uh, chess players who enjoy parties. I am luckily not uh, uh, one of them, so uh, I, I feel very comfortable here. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insights. I hope you will gain some new YouTube followers from this. And best of luck for the last two games. Thank you very much.